Hi, I'm Heather Noel from the Giving Game Foundation. And I'm Sue Greenwald with AwakenStories.com. Oh, I like that. I didn't know that was your dot com. Yeah. Awesome. Well, and another thing I want to throw in is we're going to be talking about holograms, the, these free holograms, and the website to go to for that is aspaceoflove.com. And so we may be talking about things that you need to go there to look it up, but it's really easy once you get there. It's a great, easy to understand website. So, okay. We are going to talk about um, these free holograms from a, thing, a place called Holotech and a man, a man named King John Smarty. <laughs> so we're going to chat about that. And I am brand new to this. So a lot of questions will come up because of things that I don't know. And I wanted to just come up with something really simple that people could just start right off with. So Sue has been at this for like six years now. So and she knows Smarty personally. And so I thought this would be kind of a, a fun way to do this. So, right. Okay. Right. I'm going to let you start off. All right. So I wanted to talk first about frequencies. We know that everything in our universe, universe is frequency, sound, light, color, matter. We're, we're physical beings, but we know that we have molecules that move around. Mm -hmm. We are all made of frequencies. So, uh, an illness or an injury can also be made of a specific frequency, mm -hmm. all right? It has its own pattern. So with the hollows that have been created, many of them are protective or preventative frequencies. So in other words, you can use a hollow. This is what a hollow looks like. Ta-da! And you can use a hollow, and it's almost like noise-canceling headphones, where a, a noise might have a certain sine wave. The noise canceling headphone uses a similar sine wave to like zero out that frequency. And that's similar to how the frequencies here will work with illness or injury. Of course, if there's something you want to amplify, you can print out a specific frequencies to get more of that into your life. Like, for example, abundance or love mm -hmm. or, you know, better teeth. More right. hair. You can put out a specific hollow. Let me let me let me give everybody a little example okay. here. So uh, a, this is so we have different sizes, but like this is a single hologram, right? And you can now I got this from Smarty, but the, but they have free ones as well. Right. And then and then like this yeah. this is what I did for fertilizer, and so you can cut them. See, you right. can cut the, each one out. Right. Yeah, you can also use the hollows that are free. Um, here's, uh, it's not a great example, but this is love and light blanket. Okay. So that's a free one that I downloaded onto my phone. So one way you can use that frequency is you can have your water or your food next to the frequency within about a foot and maybe have your water sit next to the frequency for a minute or so, maybe two minutes. So your water will absorb the frequencies. And when you drink it, that frequency goes into your body to give it the frequency that you're asking for. Mm -hmm. There's lots of ways you can use these and, hollows. And you can also set it, like this is a, called a hollow sheet. So each one of these are single holograms. And they and people who make these sheets will often do it by a topic. So, right. so this one I was doing because it's for detoxing. And so I, um, and, and what I do is I actually keep this right by my bed under, I have a little drapey thing. And every time I put my water on, it's just automatically charging, charging it up. Charging yeah. It. Right. And so I don't even have to think about it, but right. it's like, yeah, go ahead. So, so these free frequencies, we can download to our phones, our tablets, our laptops, and we don't have to spend a penny and we can have them near our water or our food or whatever we want to charge. But let's say you did want to print. Mm -hmm. um, these are some I, I had printed. And if you'll notice, this is, I think there's like 71 uh, different hollows in these patterns and they're very colorful and beautiful. So what I did is I actually sent these, I can print them on my own printer, but I sent these to um, Walgreens mm -hmm. and got them four by four and they're on glossy photo paper. Nice. So what I've done here is I've made a packet of different hollows that I just happen to like, mm -hmm. and I give these out. I put them in a baggie and then I tell people they can put them near their water, under their water, like a, a coaster, or they can put it underneath the table where they eat. Um, under your pillow. Yep. Near <laughs> your, you know, like under your bed. Like I have these um, like literally taped 
next to where I sit at night. Mm -hmm. I'll, I have a whole batch taped to my little shelf there. And then I have a batch taped near my bed. I actually have some in my refrigerator. Okay. I have them near my water filter. I have them under my kitchen table. <laughs> uh, I have them tucked around at different corners of the house. So they're beautiful. And I have them in my car. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, they're beautiful. And they're very inexpensive. I think um, Walgreens charged me about um, 30 cents to print these out. And I had them within an hour or so. Wow. So you can use Target, Staples, you know, any mm -hmm. of your famous. Actually, I will tell yeah. you that um, where you got that done and maybe yeah. Walmart apparently has really, if you want really high quality yeah. too, you can do that. Yeah. But, um, but like staples may not have that really crisp uh, look that you got. So that's something to keep in mind. And I wanted to throw in one more thing. So um, <laughs> my daughter came up with this. And so for those of you that shop at Costco, not to be doing a promotion, <laughs> promotion but they have these on sale. And on the bottom of these is this little thing. And it just, it's just a little rubber, whatever. But what my daughter discovered was that this from from a uh, Smarty right. from Smarty's Corner fits perfectly here. You put your water on it, and it's there all the time. And so yeah. we love that. <laughs> and that's a fat burner hollow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so so it's working all the time. I love that, right? <laughs> yeah. So one of the things I did is similar to what you have, Heather. Here is somebody created these. Mm -hmm. And um, I downloaded, there was maybe, I think there were 11 or 12 pages of these. Mm -hmm. So I sent it um, to Staples to print 11 by 17, which is bigger. And then I had them laminate it. And I think it cost me about $2 a page. Yeah. And then I stack them, which is something you can do with these. You can stack them. And I use them as placemats. So they're unique. They're bright colored. They're fun. And I'm getting the frequencies in my food and my drink whenever I sit there. Do you know what just hit me? So no. this morning we went out for breakfast and I was thinking, well, I have, I have the Smarty straw, by the way. We'll get into that later. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> it, I, was thought, I thought, how can I change my food frequency? And I just realized I could take my yeah. own placement yeah. with me. I love that. Or you could bring the little <gasps> cheaters version in a baggie. Let's better. say you're going to a restaurant. I'm, I didn't laminate these because I was in a hurry, but you can throw it in a baggie and use it as a coaster or under your um, so doing that. under your plate at the restaurant. And of course, you can put it in your purse or whatever. So, you know, your friends might think you're weird, but whatever. If they don't know you by now, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. their fault. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to try not to bump the table. I'm oh, just sorry. Saying, go <laughs> so I'm going to try to be very gentle. Okay. okay so <laughs> um, that's okay. So, so I'm thinking that. Um, what was I going to say? Okay, it left me. Go ahead. Keep right. going. So, so those are the free hollows. Basically, you can go to the Bubble Up website, which is on espaceoflove.com. Mm -hmm. And there's all, all sorts of places where you can download the hollows or the hollow sheets. They're okay. frequency holograms. So they create a, a field of the frequency that you want, whether it be preventative or something you want amplified. Mm -hmm. It creates a field. And so um, some uh, people have been very creative with the graphics and they put many on the sheet. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have all different designs and all of that. So I don't actually remember what this one is. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I've got, um, I don't know, maybe 10 sheets of yeah. 70 something hollows each. How did you make, how did you get this? You, got, well, you went in and this was it already this size or did you size it? Um, no, it was already this size. Okay. I went to bubble up. And um, I don't know how to get there on, like she said, on yeah. Space of Love. I, mm -hmm. I went to Bubble Up and I downloaded however many I did. And um, these happen to be square. So I went to, I went to Walgreens because right. uh, it's close. And uh, they have a square option, four by four, which is what these are. Mm -hmm. So it was perfectly was printed. I had them within an hour. Nice. Yeah. So like I said, I went and made sets of them for everybody. Oh, that's so and, cool. Um, yeah. So they can put them wherever. The more you can have these frequencies around you physically and your food and your water, mm -hmm. the more healthy, vibrant, and happy you'll be. I agree. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. So, um, okay, so where are we going to next? Well, we wanted to talk a little bit about Smarty and his Jedis. Oh, yeah. So I um, I met Smarty in 2017, and, you know, I wanted to meet him. He sent me a hollow 
over my cell phone when we were talking and I was like, can I have lunch with you? Mm-hmm. Like, and I ran right out to meet him because I could feel the energy. So, tell, tell everybody what it was that you were doing. Oh, I used to run an expo called the Empowered Light Holistic Expo. And Smarty was in the audience of, for one of the presentations. And he called me a few days later. And that's when he sent me the hollow, explained that he could create the frequencies automatically. You know, he generates them himself. And uh, once I talked to him on the phone, I was curious and I had to run over to meet him. Right. It was so fun. So, of course, I, I would meet him as often as he had time for me. But um, so I've been using the hollows for a while. And uh, Smarty is, he has created a method he calls the Jedi method or the Smarty method. And um, so for um, the Jedis, my definition would be those that are actively trying to heal and protect the world. I mean, you don't need to be a Jedi or have a label or whatever right. to be in that group. But right. um, Smarty has created a methodology for healing using these frequencies. And let me throw this in. Yeah. So there's a Telegram page also on a space of love. And so there's a link. And then if you if you want to keep going and help others, they or if you need help, so so they have one for healing, healing. requests, mm-hmm. right? If and then need. and then people like Sue who are Jedi's get in there and they right. help you with the healing right. process. And then when you start to understand it, which is what we're going to explain today, right. Right. if you want to jump in and help people, you can do that as right. well. Mm-hmm. On the Telegram group, which is where most of us are now, um, there is a, a Telegram group called Healing and Requests. So let's say we know somebody that's you know they've been diagnosed or they have they're not feeling good or whatever something has happened. Uh, doesn't even matter what it is. Well, we all work independently mm-hmm. on that person mm-hmm. to solve the problem. All right, so we are using the Smarty method, and I'll kind of go briefly over that. And um, can I throw in a quick testimony? Of course. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> I just but, but before we explain how this works, yeah. uh, and I again I'm new to this, but I have to say. When I started making the A Space of Love site, yeah. I had heard that people who were doing this work, um, one guy was named Salim, and he's he he had his computer completely attacked. So I was kind of preparing myself, but the thing that happened was I was working on A Space of Love, and it was fine for a couple of days, and then the minute I created the hot links, so it would, if you click, it would take it to Smarty and all the, and the, and the holograms and the bubble up and all that jazz. Um, within 30 minutes, uh, my whole site was attacked. Right. And I couldn't get on the site anymore. But I have my other site, which is a Giving Game Foundation. And it was also attacked because they're on the same server. And so, and that was a big deal to me because a space of love wasn't even up yet. That wasn't a problem. But my other site is a big site where people come. It's a 60 day free e-course. So they're coming there every day. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I got in touch with, with my friend Linda and she got in touch with Smarty and he, and he did his magic and he said, okay, done, have her check. And this was six o'clock the next right. morning. Cause right. I couldn't even get in touch with my server, right. nothing. And it was handled now. Right. The really amazing thing is it went great for a few weeks and then I got attacked again. And I thought, well, I can't keep going to him. I called, I got in touch with Sue. She's like, Heather, no problem. I'm getting in touch with the Jedi's. And she goes and, and literally within 30 minutes, it was working again. Right. And I was like, okay. So I thought the next time it happened and it did like another day went by and boom, it got attacked again. So this time. I use this thing, a little crystal generator, which we'll talk about later. But I just, I just did the method that she's going to teach you, right. and I brought it back myself, and I was right. so excited because I was like, I can't keep relying on people to, you know, take care of cyber attacks for me, and that was like such a cool thing. So she well, did that for me. Sometimes you need your, you know, we have a very supportive group of people. So like, I, I am also attacked from time to time. And sometimes it's like, get off me or get away from me, you know, and it's no big deal. But there's sometimes it's like, I can feel the difference. It's a big deal. I contact my group of friends immediately and have them help me. And it's a great, very trustworthy group, but we're trying to clear and clean and expose things and 
basically bring everything to the light. So it's very exciting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. now we'll tell you how to do the All method. Right. So I'm going to kind of go through the long old fashioned method, which is the way you need to learn and give you some of the lingo that we use. So um, not everyone is energy sensitive. What I used to teach during Reiki or energy healing is you could rub your hands together and then kind of bring your hands together to feel the energy crackle. It should feel warm. It should feel comfortable between your hands. That's like kind of sensing energy. Not everyone can do that, but it's it's kind of a good practice to kind of feel yeah. someone's energy field or whatever. But even if you can't do it, we've got a solution. Exactly. <laughs> so envision an energy ball in your hand or your hands. Doesn't matter how big, doesn't matter what color, but just envision it. Let's just say you don't, you can't envision it. Pretend. Pretend there's a big ball of energy in your hand. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to give it a command or a frequency. So let's say we're going to heal somebody, like maybe Heather has hurt her shoulder or something. Mm -hmm. So I might put in frequencies. And again, just make pretend. If you, if you can't think of what to do, pretend, intend, command that the frequencies for healing go into that ball of energy. Okay. Mm -hmm. I command, you know, healing and connection and blah, blah, blah. So put it in the ball of light. And then if Heather happens to be here, I can pop it into her shoulder. Mm -hmm. I can, if Heather's across town or across the world, I can imagine it going into her shoulder or going into her home or whatever. Mm -hmm. You do not need to have um, a physical sensation. But for me, I kind of know when it's done. I have a knowing, mm -hmm. right? So the more you do this, the easier it is to know when things are ready to be sent out, mm -hmm. the command. Mm -hmm. So we are not really intending. We're putting a command in an energy ball and sending it to where we want it to go. The Smarty uh, Healing Method could be used, of course, for people or pets or animals, mm -hmm. plants, a situation or event, mm -hmm. something that's going to happen, something that has happened. It doesn't matter. It's all energy. It's all frequency. So you can heal anything or change anything in a way. All right. So that's the old fashioned long version. Make an energy ball, put in the commands and int intend or command it to heal whatever. So that's what I would call the old fashioned way. Okay. That's the way you need to learn. And then if you're not feeling confident, you can test whether that just worked. Now, one other thing is that it's a big thing that I didn't mention earlier. <laughs> Pretty big thing <laughs> is that the frequencies work in the, we'll call it the etheric or the non-physical realm. All right. Mm -hmm. So I might send an energy ball to Heather immediately and she may or may not have immediate results. All right. But it's working in her aura. All right. It's working multidimensionally. It's not working specifically in the physical realm. All right. So what happens is there's a lot of factors that will affect how fast you'll experience healing. All right. There's a lot of factors in what we call source. God is really one of the biggest factors. He gets to decide when her shoulder is healed, not me. All right. I want to explain something about that. Super. Okay. So. I've heard that before, and 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 I kind of interpret things in the way that I understand. Okay, so cool. I'm gonna throw this out. So I don't personally see it like God going, "Ooh, you can't have this. You can't." Like <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah. what I do know is that let's say yeah. let's say that you have a stiff neck, and that the issue behind that is that you are stiff necked as a person. So your neck is actually trying to show you right. that you're being stiff, yeah. and so you want to get down to the internal issue and, belief system right because right. otherwise right. if you just heal something whether it's with drugs or anything else and you just heal it but you don't handle what the body's trying to tell you it just crops up again that's true so uh, that's how i interpret this and, and i go okay i'm gonna go look at the internal at what i'm thinking right. and feeling that is behind this i clear that and then i bring in this so i do both Personally, right. and see, not not everyone has that consciousness to say, okay, I had this accident because I was thinking negative thoughts repetitively and blah blah blah. They they can't yeah. go there. So we're just offering whatever healing that they can accept, yeah. whether it be physical, emotional, or whatever. Like I said, this is on the frequency level. It works on every level, 
And it's not really my decision how fast they're they're healed. Right. Like there's so, multiple things that exactly. affect Exactly. And I'm actually kind of talking about doing your own healing work, which yeah. is, you know, because you're talking about healing others. But I'm saying yeah. if you're doing your own work, that's what I right. personally do. Yeah. So. And you can use this to heal yourself, which is awesome. Yeah. All right. So, so we create the energy ball. We put the command in it, the frequencies um, that we know our friend or ourself or our dog or whatever needs. And we command it to go into that affected area. Hold right. on. There's one yes. other thing we forgot. So will you first do the tag? And well, do you want to do that? I was just oh. going to leave there. So, so we have in the Smarty group commands uh, tag and bag. So we write it TNB, tag and bag. So what happens is we're telling basically God to identify whatever that situation is. So let's say we're um, picking out groups of people in the world that are doing something we don't like. Tag and bag this group. All right. So I'm not going in and pointing the finger at each person. I don't know them. Basically source God is pointing them up, lighting them up. Okay, so we identify. So we tag and bag, and then we reinforce the command. So we command that the healing, the protective, whatever goes there. And once we feel like confident that it's happened, done. Now I don't, I snap. That's my thing. You don't need to snap. But uh, I tag and bag it, that identifies. I reinforce it with confidence. And then when I feel it's done, I say done. That's just my closure. Yeah. Okay. So one of the things I was thinking that we could talk about too is yes. how if you're doing work for another person, and this is just my beginner understanding, but um, but like what I started doing, and I don't know if it's right or not, but it seems to work, is I would literally think about like someone who needed help. And then I personally do what's called a sway test, mm -hmm. um, but there's also a pendulum. And on a space of love, I'm going to have two videos up that show you how to do right. that if you right. want to know so we don't take time to do that here. Right. But the first thing I do is I, is I think about that person that I'm helping and I just sway test and I'm, am I tuned in? And it's like, yeah, right. and I'll get this yes yeah. very clearly. Then I will um, do, so if we're doing a command, this is one thing I do want to get a little more I just created my own commands but <laughs> but anyhow yeah you make so, it up yes <laughs> you know, so there, like yeah. there's basic stuff that you learn but it's like if there's something that works for you just do it so right. I would do my own kind of command and then I would muscle test or sway test to see did it did this right. work did it connect right. right and if it says no then I might look into it deeper or sometimes you know one thing that smarty talks about is he says ask someone else to do it if if, if yeah. you get a no yeah. that it's not for you to yeah. do so that's another option but if you want to talk more about um, how you command things especially okay. for an individual yeah, yeah. And I wanted to say um, also we like especially a new person that's not energy sensitive they have a lack of confidence. So they might send the command and they're like, whoa, did that work? Try the pendulum, okay? So Heather will have that video mm -hmm. or try the sway test. Yeah. And then you'll say, yes, I have effectively healed Heather's shoulder or whatever I'm doing. That makes me feel like what I did made a difference. And then I feel more confident the next time I do a healing command. Yeah. All right. So the commands are, again, the old fashioned way. And, you know, I, I don't mean to sound that way because I don't do it that way anymore. I just make the command. All right? Yeah, and I've never so, done it that way. And yeah, I've done the command. So Smarty, <laughs> Smarty starts people off with the energy right. ball. And, you know, we can put balls of energy with whatever healing frequency all around our house or, yeah. you know, people that are sick or whatever, mm -hmm. positivity. It doesn't matter what it is. Right. So for me, um, I don't use the energy ball and do it as it just seems a little slow and yeah. I'm like the world's most impatient person. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I will just say, um, tag Jane Doe for healing done. Oh, cool. Yeah. And like then do you that. double check and see if, it, yeah. if it's okay. double check. Yeah. But, um, I already know it's happened. Okay. I Cause you've been at it for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I have a knowing, I, I do feel energy. I know when it's going to work or not. And especially when there's groups of us all concentrating on an, an event or whatever, it's much stronger and much faster. Mm -hmm. Like I said, there's lots of factors yeah. though. 
Yeah. Right. So I, you know, I'm in what we'll call the Jedi groups and we will identify groups of people that may need assistance in some way. And we send the commands, we tag and bag them, we reinforce it. And then we say done. It is done. Okay. Let's, let's do tag and bag one more time. Tag and bag. TMB. No, no, but, but let's, let's, because I heard that at the, yeah, let's do right. tag and bag, but let's do it just for an individual All and right. not a whole group. All right. So okay. tag and bag Heather's shoulders for complete healing and restoration. Reinforced done. And I snap. Okay. okay. But what I'm saying like is to. what I'm saying is because I've heard this many times and I go, wait, what? So tag means what? Identify. Okay. So you identify so, the shoulder. That's right. the tag, right? So I'm not go like, we can like, we'll call it remote view and go in and see, oh, you've got a torn ligament, blah, blah, blah. Right. Again, you don't need to even know yeah, that. I don't, I don't need just to feel it. Um, yeah. Source. God mm -hmm. knows what's wrong with your shoulder. Right. I'm asking source to identify your shoulder. Okay. Whatever's going wrong with right. it. Light it up, if you will. Like, put attention there. Mm -hmm. I reinforce the healing. Mm -hmm. And then I say, it, done. Okay. All so, right. so, so God source is doing the healing. Yes. And you, and then you say reinforce, right. done. Okay. Right. That's good. Exactly. I no. needed to hear that again right. because I hear people do it all the time. Yeah. What is that? Okay. Yeah. So on our groups, you'll see TNB. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, like, uh, for example, a family member of mine is currently going through a corrupt situation. It's not comfortable at all. And so I tagged and bagged the situation. And then all those around her, all those that work there, blah, blah, blah. I make a list of those that were tagged and begging. Anyone that's corrupt or covering up the truth. And then we all reinforce that they're exposed and healed. And then we consider it done. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, when so, we, so you can do it from an individual level yeah. or you can do it in the big worldly, right. you know. Yeah, we can do it globally. And what's great is that that, that yeah. really helps because I know like my daughter, she gets so mad about stuff that's so, and they did this yeah. and that's just yeah. terrible. Yeah. And how wonderful it is to be able to go. You don't have to yeah. worry about it. Yeah. You just go, okay, tag and bag that one. Yeah. <laughs> and I just snap. I don't know why it's completion to me. So I'll be driving along. Like, and my, you know, my kids are like, oh, oh she's at it again. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's my method. Cause it's just like done. Right. And then I can think about other things. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. so is this basically what we're talking about now? Is this, if we're going online and it says use the Smarty method, did, yeah. is that what we just did? Yes. Okay. Is yeah. there anything else more, more to the Smarty method? No. <gasps> so f bottom okay. line, frequencies are everything, everything, healing, protective, preventative, whatever it is, doesn't matter what it is. It can work on anything, right? People, places, things, pets. pets plants, whatever, yep. situations, events, whatever. Okay. So last year, my son and I were going to the Grand Canyon. We were having monsoons here, severe flooding. Okay. And I was, um, I didn't want to go up there and spend the money on the hotel and all that and not be able to hike. So I did a command that we were going to have awesome weather. All right. Which was kind of a long shot. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> so I used my crystalline generator, which we're going to talk about in a second. I wrote it on a post-it note. I said, um, I don't know, easy trip to the Grand Canyon, awesome weather, whatever it was, put it on the post-it note until I got that it was handled. We breezed up there. It was like we had the place to ourselves. It was dry. It was like perfect temperature. I think it was like 72 degrees. It was amazing. So would that have happened without my command? Maybe. It cost me a post-it note. <laughs> and a little intention. Right. And my my trip was smooth as silk. Nice. It was awesome. Love yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. So so next we were going to talk about some of the products for so yeah. what we've talked about is stuff that you can do effectively for free. Mm -hmm. You can print or you can have it on your phone, your tablet, your computer. You don't need to spend a penny. To use and the frequency. Just remember, you want to have it within 12 inches, basically. Yeah. So yeah. whether you set it on this right. or you have it next to your phone, right. just, yeah, and right. you can stack them up. Um, on uh, Smarties website, smartiescorner.com, 
there's a whole bunch of products and we thought we might go through some of the most popular ones right and kind of tell you how to use them and let me just say smarty's corner is spelled smarty with a y corner yeah, yeah. so what y s yeah. Corner. yeah it'll be on your website and too. it's on my website a billion <clears throat> places so yeah. the first thing is the jewelry and these are under the reloadable category so these are what we call super smarty charms all right. So each so basically it's a pendant. Yeah. Necklace. And yeah. like I have the man size, which is a little bit bigger. And then I have the girl size. Yeah. Yeah. Child and women's, which yeah. I and I actually wear two of these at a time. Yeah. Actually, oh, we yeah. took one off so that she could show yeah. the camera. So yeah. So this is this is one of them. Now I happen to have um the the rainbow version but there's all different you know, colors and colors and all kinds sizes of patterns. i'm just some kind of a rainbow person apparently yeah. you are too well so. i have a silver <laughs> flower of light that's my favorite too but nice. i do like the rainbow yeah and then smarty also has the bracelets and the earrings so let's explain what a reloadable yeah. means reloadable has all of the frequencies that are out there are automatically put in. So every time someone asks for a new frequency to be created into a hollow, okay, because there's some, let's call them obscure diseases that, you know, whatever, it's automatically put into our charms, our bracelets, our earrings, whatever's under the reloadable category automatically gets updated. Right? And there's one cool thing about it I have to add. Okay. People say that um, when he does the, the reloads, they warm up. They'll warm up. Yeah. I mean, how cool yeah. is that? Yeah. And um, the uh, I think these have a thousand foot radius. Okay. So basically, if I'm going to the grocery store, be bopping all, all around the store, the produce, the people that I pass, they're all getting the frequencies, which lifts everybody up. So it's so cool. It's so cool. Yeah. And there are people that will take things and put it in what, like in a river yeah. and just kind of, yeah. 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 That's really cool. So what I, I've actually um, put these in the bathtub if I'm soaking in the tub, which I love doing. I'll put these in the tub. Um, you can use these in really creative ways. Mine only comes off when I'm doing yoga because I almost knocked my teeth out a couple of times. <laughs> They're a little heavy, but other than that, I wear them even in the shower, wherever I'm going, I wear my charm always. Well, I'm going to show you something interesting. So if you can see how this is, I don't know if it's close, close enough, but there we go. It kind of, okay. Yeah. So what my daughter did that was so clever was she would like cut it to the size that she wanted. So yeah. if you look, I've got like two that Right. that hang like this yes, the right? cascade, yeah. and so if you don't want that length you just get out your needle nose plier and get it to the length you want and then it won't hit you in your teeth if you're doing yoga. <laughs> <laughs> so well i have a regular chain i don't have that chain anymore oh, okay i bought my own chain oh, because nice. um i want it okay so all right so the the first category was reloadable the jewelry is great because you can put it on and it's like passive you don't have to think about it right we like that yeah now there's also a couple other things under the reloadable categories and one of the most fun product i think is the straws so a set of straws i think it has three straws in it yeah and this is the rainbow color um they're very pretty but they're super fun to use because you're drinking out of a straw you put it in your drink and you can see that it purifies your drink. You you might see it bubble just a little mm -hmm. bit. I've been using these like crazy, and I have a big fat one. I was going to show everybody. I thought it was oh, in a bottle. It it's in yeah. the bottle. Okay, so this yeah. is the great big. You get fat you get version. three different straws and a cleaner in the kit. Right, the straws are amazing gifts, and they are fun to use. Who doesn't oh. love drinking out of a straw? Right. Well, guess what? I don't. So, but guess what? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the beautiful right. thing. You can just have it sitting in your water. It yeah. does not have to be, you don't have to drink out of it. Yeah. You can just have it sitting there. Yeah. And I have to tell my, I know what you've done. So <laughs> I have a testimony. I'm not going to give you right now, but I had a cat that had a UTI and um, I, I had this one, one of the smarty straws is like this, but it has this little hook, you know, little kind of like goes like that. Yeah. Okay. Which I knew I was never going to use because it couldn't fit in my bottles. So I used my um, my needle nose pliers and I cut it into four pieces and I put it in the different water bowls and I also gave it to my hummingbird feeder and the hummingbirds are like, oh, I love 
you have food. It's so great. <laughs> so I have this all over. So it's great because I love having it in the in the containers. Right. Right. But that you can share it with your pets. I really right. like that. Oh, well, there's yeah. going to be a pet thing kind, but it's a not pet charm. Yeah. yeah. So look for that. I I bought the straws for everyone, and everybody got their own little set for Christmas. And we, we have fun because if we mix shakes or smoothies, you know, you're going to drink out of a straw. Mm -hmm. It's fun. It is. Yeah. And you can also, so here's the thing. Let's say you're all, you're all having something out of the blender. You could sit this in there for like a minute or two yeah. and it does the whole blender and then you just pour it out. So yeah. everyone gets, it's amazing. Yeah. So this has the same level. I'm sorry. It has all the frequencies that this is. Yeah. Now the Which only, so cool. The only frequencies that this does not contain is sleep. Oh, that's good. And weight loss, because not everyone needs to or wants oh, to lose weight. Good thing I got this one. I know. <laughs> I know. So, so for sleep, there. Look under the reloadables category. There's. It's an orange, like a circle. It's a, a crystal sleep. It's a sleep crystal, I guess we call it. It's orange. And I've got one because I have insomnia. I bought I, one. I put it under my pillow. Now I used to put it inside my pillowcase, but it went through the washer several times and then i lost it so i bought another one that i just put under my pillow and it that's been there for a couple of years nice and there's also even a comforter set you can buy oh yeah i do not own the comforter set i don't either but um i've heard good things about it all right nice. this so is to so help people sleep because it's yes. a comforter oh yeah. cool because you've got all the frequencies that and of course you're there for theoretically eight hours right <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so um those are some reloadable products that you can use and again the, the price is modest um they do go on sale a couple mm -hmm. times a month so you know depending on what you're after the price is modest you do have to pay for them and then you'll get your order within about a week or two yeah it's yeah. pretty it was pretty yeah. quick um so okay so yeah that's well, that gives you kind of the so i started off with that just yeah. i'm just gonna throw that out yeah yeah i just start off with this and oh i have to tell you okay i do have to throw in a testimonial here about okay. this okay so my daughter who you know the, so i have this thing called the giving game foundation it teaches people how to create new neural pathways in the brain so that when i was talking about changing your inner, it just teaches you how to do it and it and it's free so you would think that my daughter would be like Got that. But no, no, she would get like, you know, she'd get all, and she's 25 now. So she's she never listened. Well, they absorb, that. they don't listen. It wasn't a listening thing as much as she would take stuff very personally, you know? And I have a lot of clients. So I'm like, dude, I say this to people all the time. They don't take it personally. You do. She's like, I can't help it. And so, like, oh. <laughs> so, so she started wearing her Smarty charm. And I'm like, don't you take that off. Wear it. <laughs> so, so she started wearing it all the time. And I'm not kidding you about within a week or two, um, she came into my room. It was one of those things where I was trying to point something out to her. It's like really middle of the night. And she's like going into drama. And then all of a sudden, she burst out laughing. I mean, just regale of laughing. And like when I work with clients, I'm always trying to get them to laugh because personally, I believe it breaks the hypnotic suggestion right. about the problem. Right. If you can laugh your ass off over your problem or over your depression yeah. or whatever it is, it's like boom. And she wears it all the time now. Yeah. And that old tendency it has been completely eradicated and she loves her pendant and wears it all the time. Right. And it has been amazing. I mean, for me, because it's the work that I do, it's like, it's like what I talk about when a person has a major breakthrough, that was such a huge breakthrough and it was directly connected to her wearing this That's because amazing. she knew all the concepts right. already. Right. So yeah. I just can't tell you how much I love it. And I wear mine all the time. I know a lot of people take them off and take a break, but I'm like, nah, I love mine. <laughs> I, I am gay. I bought this uh, a charm. I don't remember which one for my friend for her birthday mm -hmm. last year. It was wrapped in a little box with, you know, wrapping paper. And I put it in her hand. I said, happy birthday. And she went like, <gasps> like she felt the energy immediately. Right. She's like, what is this? Right. So she, the energy was so strong for her. So, you know, not everyone has that reaction, but that to me was proof that she felt the energy. Oh, yeah. Like she flinched. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. Well, okay. When we get to the crystalline generator and the black hollows, well, let's we got to talk now. about the lady. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that now. Okay. Here we go. All right. So 
One of the other healing tools that we have, there's there's so many, is called the crystalline healing generators, right. crystalline frequency generators. Yeah. One, I just call mine the CG. Right. Okay. So what is the crystalline? And then there's one called the black hollow, which yeah. is also really cool. Um, and I happen to have the black hollow here. They all look kind of the same. You know, they have this look to them and you can kind of see the size by my hand. Um, but we had a really cool thing. I hadn't met Sue yet. I, I found <laughs> out that she lived here. And it was one of these days where I was just couldn't, I couldn't figure out where I was supposed to go and where I was supposed to be. And all of a sudden I was like, Heather, go to the post office. I was heading south and I'm going north to the post office, like a couple blocks. And this generator was waiting for me. And I was like, oh, cool. And then I get a text from her and she's literally a block away from me. And I'm like, guess where I am? So Which is a major me. occurrence. It was me. a major, yeah. yeah and we major. live in Sid. Sedona, so you know, yeah. <laughs> all seven miles away. Right. From her, so. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. so she's talking to a lady at the crystal. Yeah, and Angela, she's an right? amazing a woman. Yep. I'm gonna put up the video, but this lady was like, I'm like, wait, I'll go to my car and bring back the generator. I put it in her hand, and she was like, <gasps> And she was, it was the same kind of thing. Yeah. And she's like, yeah. I work with crystals all the time. I'm like, I get energy. Yeah. And then she starts talking about it, going up and down and around, switches hands. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and now it's grown up. Yeah. So it it's exciting. Really cool. Yeah, it is. You know, oh, I, here's a little story. I took three videos of Angela that day. Well, the second two had my finger in front of it the no. whole time. No lie. I had to delete them. Oh and I mean, God. I've done that a billion times. You'd think I would have learned, learned by now. <laughs> but, um, uh, they're very powerful. So the way to use the crystalline frequency generator to heal. Yeah. Let's say you know of a specific individual. You need to do one individual at a time. Okay. Yeah. So let's say you have a picture of that person. You print the picture out and put the crystalline frequency generator on top of it. Okay. So we'll now, pretend this is a person with yeah. their photo. Yeah. And you just put this here. Right. 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 Now, if you don't have a printer, what do you do? Use your phone That's right. or your tablet or whatever right. and put it right on the phone. So you have their picture. So right. pretend this is someone's picture. Right. And then you would just put this right next to or right. you could set it like that on your phone. Yeah. 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 Now, you don't specifically need any frequencies or commands here. The crystalline generator already knows what they need. It's already working on them. Now, what I was doing is I would test, are we done yet? Is Jane mm -hmm. Doe done with it? Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like... Like I put it on the post-it note for the Grand Canyon. I waited until it said it was done. And then I left yeah. it a little longer just for fun, you know. But I literally... Um, but yeah. it literally changes what... Yeah. It, so explain how it goes into the photo and you can give the person the photo as well yeah. as doing the yeah. healing. So basically you want to do... Like if you have, say, two people in a picture and you're healing one, you want to crop... Um, the other person out. Oh, yeah. It's important to only mm -hmm. do one person at a time because it's going to go back to their source intended DNA. And that would include them. pets too, wouldn't it? Pets. No yes. pets. We do a lot of pets. But I mean, do the pet by itself, not with the person in it. Exactly. And vice versa. You, mm -hmm. What happens is if you did a whole group of people at once, that would co-mingle the DNA. And we don't want that. No. We want them, each individual healed to their original source intended blueprint mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right so now here's the cheaters version okay right. well, I love so that. i love cheaters versions. i've got cheaters versions for everything <laughs> so my printer that i bought was a lemon and didn't print after a while so plan b which is not really preferred as much as plan a is to write the person's name on a post-it note and put the crystalline generator on top of it okay hold on one second do you want to throw in your little, how that worked for you? Because I just did a testimonial for you, but did you want to say anything or just no? I do not look good right no, now. No, you're right. Okay. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay. I'll just say, it's just changed a lot for me in a very short amount of time. Excellent. Yes. Took a week for it to like sink in. Do you want to say that in front of the camera? We look pretty good. You want to come look so you see how you look? Okay. And look how cute she made hers. Come here. Get over here. This is Amelia. Okay, now show them what you did with your, isn't that the cutest thing that she did with her necklace? That is her smarty charm yep. that she made a little chain for. Okay. Yeah. So, no. Well, not the chain. And just tell uh, them how much you liked it. Um, well, it's not the chain. It's the, the necklace that I added on this part right here. Yeah. Um, well, for me, it definitely made a difference. And the longer I wore it and 
the times where I wasn't wearing it, like, like with throughout the day, I would notice a difference. So um, it's kind of like I got used to wearing it and then I noticed a difference when I wasn't. And I don't know, it's just. And you said something to me about like, you'd get like a suggestion of depression and it would just stop it. Remember? Yeah. So kind of like, you know how people always say, oh, I'm so depressed. And but <laughs> you got to look at what kind of music are you watching or what kind of music are you listening to? What kind of movies are you watching? What are you feeding your subconscious that's suggesting that you are depressed, that you identify with that person who's depressed? Um, because it's just a suggestion. It doesn't mean there isn't that feeling because I've dealt with it and worked with it. it doesn't mean you can't move through it but, but it shifted when you put on the necklace I know it did, did. it mm -hmm. shifted like miraculously so it was more like I get like the suggestion of it and I was just like eh. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a boring thought like it was <laughs> that's cool <laughs> so that's just my experience anyway yep. I, I, I guess that's one way to explain it anyway so. thank you darling welcome thank you so much Yay. 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 Okay. Right. Did you show them the time? I yeah. did. Yeah, I did. I gave you credit. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay. All right. So we talked about the crystalline generator. Let's talk about the wands. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. The wands are so fun. So fun. So one of the reasons uh, Heather and I met, I went to a music festival in Sedona, and I took my wand and my crystalline generator I wanted everybody, the ponies, they had snakes, all the animals, every person, everyone that was sick. I wanted everybody like right. crazy all day long. So for like took, 10 hours. So she took a metal one. I did. Because, <laughs> because these glass ones are amazing, but they will break. Yeah. We call them crystalline, but I, yeah. whatever it is, yeah. it'll break. So you want it. So I actually, so I bought like four of those. I keep some by my kitties food. <laughs> But these um, these guys, I have three right. of these, and I don't know if you have different flavors. No, like they're the, all the same. Okay. But but um, I love working with these. I sleep with them. I I've used them on. I use them. Can I tell one more? Yes, yeah, of course. Years? Okay. So <laughs> this cat that had the urinary tract infection took him to the vet, and. Um, he was he he had a lot of pain so she gave him a shot and then she gave him a shot for pain and what she didn't tell me was that it was an opioid and i wouldn't have wanted that if she told me and he literally he like his eyes were like this when he got home and he just sat in a corner and he couldn't handle light so he went under a table and we put a little blanket over it and he would just sit straight up like this and it was supposed to wear off in 24 hours, but 40 hours later, Ooh. he was still like that. He, I never saw him lie down. He was just like this. And he just wasn't himself. He wouldn't jump up on anything. He couldn't move properly. And so, so it was early in the morning and I took this wand and I just, I didn't even know what I was doing. I'm just, okay, I'm going to let the wand do its work. <laughs> you know? And so, um, and, and like, he let me do it for a couple of minutes and he kind of backed away and I thought, oh, maybe it's a little strong for him. So I got in bed and I just held it and I just started doing some of my little healing work that I do. And then a few minutes later, he jumped on the bed and he went to my arm and my body and his body was twitching. So the, so it's interesting. I don't know if the twitching was that this had set it off to kind of clear it. Like, cause I know bodies can twitch, but he twitched for like right. 20 minutes. Right. Then he jumped off the bed and he came back and I had put on this necklace in the meantime. And he literally laid across my chest to be on top of the necklace. Then he went between my arm and all of the twitching was gone. Right. And then my other cat wanted to go out. So I, I had the curtains closed because he couldn't handle light. He had not been outside at all. And I just opened the, the glass door. He leaped off the bed, ran outside onto the balcony and laid down in the sunshine. And I was like, wow. And that was in like, like maybe 40 minutes altogether. Um, after that, I discovered that the stuff for the UTI infection hadn't worked. So I worked with him again with the crystal. And then I also, is that's when I got the idea to cut the 
the um, straw. The straw. Yeah. And I put that in his water, yeah. and literally, it completely healed him. So yeah. it was amazing because I needed to see that that because I would have just thought that the vet had done her job. And if it worked, if I had, if it had worked the first time and healed both of them. So when we talk about, you know, maybe, maybe source doesn't want something to heal. It was really important for me to know that I didn't need to go to a vet again, that I could do it myself. Right. Smarty right. wand. And, and they, these are what we'd call point and shoots. Right? Okay. So let's just say you're going to heal someone. Now, maybe they've got an evident disease or illness or a broken arm or whatever. Mm -hmm. You can go up and just wave it around them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or what I do is just wave it around them anyways. <laughs> and I've had great luck. So <laughs> the day of the music festival, my friend had fallen on a trail. She was bleeding, limping, not a horrible mess, but she was in pain. Mm -hmm. So I was already bringing my stuff with me. It, it was already packed in my purse. So um, I wanted her, especially this the whole day. Mm -hmm. And she was ready to, she danced by the end of the afternoon. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. So, yeah, she so was and in, you can do it to yourself. Yeah. Just you yeah. know, put it on your shoulder. You can wand yourself. You know, okay. Yeah. And if you're energy sensitive, you'll see, feel the energy start. So last night, my friend was uh, bitten by a dog quite severely in the hand. So she asked me to come over and work on her. So first thing I did is I added her to the healing and request group. Mm -hmm. And I sent a picture over later and I texted you as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. And I, I took my wand over in my crystalline generator. I gave her a spare Smarty Charm and some hollows to put by her bed mm -hmm. and explained it all to her. But I wanded her. And while I was wanding her hand, she says, it's feeling better. Oh, that is her, so her hand was a mess. Yeah. 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 So these are point and shoot. So you go up to the person. Could I wand you? And you just wave it around. You may be drawn to a certain part of their body. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go there. That's where they need the healing. Just kind of circle it around until you kind of feel like it's time to stop. Right? Yeah. I forgot to mention something. Okay, so for people on my website at, at givinggamefoundation.com, um, there are uh, quite a few people who, who work with this thing called a Healy, which is the same kind of idea of uh, frequency technology. But here's what I discovered. <laughs> so this goes on at a certain level, but when I got this crystal and generator, and like if you're if you're sensitive to energy and you especially if you can muscle test. That what I started doing was I would send out the frequencies through this Healy, but I would do it with the generator. Oh my goodness. It just, it like magnifies it like crazy. So I just wanted to throw that. That's amazing. In. Yeah. Yeah. So for yeah. anybody who works with other, he, you know, frequency things, right. Add the generator. Right. Oh my gosh. And so these wands, you know, again, the difference is metal doesn't break as easily as whatever glass or crystal but you're you're basically pointing and shooting at the person yeah oh right? i have one more thing to tell of you. course so amelia who you saw earlier um she is a super psychic and um and just to give you an idea i swam every day for a month with dolphins when i was in my fourth month of pregnancy with her every day in captivity so she's like Whoa. anyhow i said so she was trying this and then I said, okay, I'm getting a seven inch one that is brand new. It right. just came on a couple of days ago or maybe a week or two ago. But anyhow, I just bought it a couple of days ago and we're sitting outside and I said, okay, so you've tried this. Now just tell me, what do you, what do you feel in comparison to the seven inch one? And what's that one called? Is it like a R1 or something? Ugh. It's seven think, inches. Just stick with that idea. Okay. Yeah. No, no. It's R1 or R2. I don't, I, I don't think, know. To be well, honest. Whatever it is, um, you just, you'll just see that it's seven inches. This is four inches. So that'll, so that's right. the difference in the, that. So um, Smarty, now I didn't tell Amelia anything, but when Smarty was talking about this, he goes, yeah, this one's a hundred times more powerful. And I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to roll with that. Uh, that sounds cool. So I ordered it, but I had Amelia check into it. Didn't tell her a thing. She said, okay, she goes, this one is like working with fairy energy. It's Which is just, awesome. It's awesome. And it's beautiful and it's sweet and lovely. She goes, but that one that's seven inches, she goes, it's like, imagine an orchestra in a dome. 
<laughs> and it's just like all around you. And and not only is it is the orchestra playing, but for every every sound that they put out, there's color right yeah so there's a color it all going around this dome she said that's the difference and i'm like it's amazing i'm so glad i bought yeah. one yeah. so okay so the wands are something again anyone can use for only purposes of the light yeah. if you try to do something nefarious with them they're not going to work sorry all right sorry sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> too bad oh uh, yeah now one of the other products that i love um, I don't know if you have one here or not. Is the um, the fuel chip? Do I do have one. I do. Okay. I thought you had one. So, so there, the, there's a there's a free version that's bigger, right? Yeah. But I don't have that because I bought it, and I'm right. so glad I did. So the fuel chip um, is a sticker, basically. Okay. And you this put is it. What it looks like. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oop. I don't know if that's helping. Oh well. Anyhow, mm-hmm. small. Yeah. But can I say one quick thing? And you, you said it's a sticker, but. It is so tightly on this back yeah. that I didn't realize you could actually stick it, excepting I was watching Smarty do a demo mm-hmm. and he stuck it. I was like, oh, that'll come off. So you have to really work to get it off, yeah. but it will come off yeah. and it will stick. Yeah. Okay. So basically what you do, open your gas cap and stick it either inside the gas cap or on the little wall of the gas cap well. Well, not inside or, the gas cap. Not inside, okay. no, but inside the little... Area, right? Yeah. And it has to be something metal. So stick it onto metal. Yeah. Or you, let's say you have something that's like a Jeep or something. It's plastic and it's, you know, stick it in your trunk area, wherever is close to the gas tank. All right. Mm-hmm. So what this sticker will do for your car is it's going to allow you to get more mileage per gallon and the emission will be pure. In okay. other words, and yeah. then you use this for the pure emission, don't you? This yeah, that just, I don't know that that actually does anything. I um, put it on my car. I got this and I didn't order it. It just came with, and it's kind of yeah. hard to tell, but you can, you can it says feel the back mm-hmm. And it says emissions. Yeah. So I put this on my car and literally, I would say within a couple of weeks, I, I used to be like, if I backed up my car and had the window, and I was, woo. I, I don't even notice the emissions anymore. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. And there is a video that Smarty's done showing how your car will steam instead of putting out whatever yeah. pollution it does. Yeah. So imagine if we all had the fuel stickers. Number one, we're going to save money on fuel, which we all love. Yeah. But it's giving us cleaner air. Well, I, and I want to give a quick um, thing about this. It was pretty amazing. Yeah. So I had a full tank of gas. I went, um, now the thing is because of our gas prices, this, this is like, but I literally was able to go 300 miles on $60 worth of gas, but it was at 445 a gallon. Mm-hmm. And I thought, you know, it's funny because, uh, you know, a year or two ago, it was like 225 a gallon. Right. So when I looked at it that way, and I look at 300 miles, it would have cost me $30 to do 300 miles. And that's because I can't tell you what it was per gallon, but that was my best way. And I was like, wow, 300 miles for 30 bucks was what I would have remembered in terms of yeah. gas prices, yeah. right? Yeah. So well, I've been tracking my gas prices and of course, gas is literally doubled. So in the old days, about four or five months ago, <laughs> <laughs> right I, to fill up my car would be like say 34 dollars, mm-hmm. and i would go almost 500 miles right okay and i i'm mostly doing local stop and go driving okay mm-hmm. um now i have tracked it and i could have made a mistake right now my gas expense itself has gone up it's doubled 64 dollars last time but i think i got 700 miles out of the last tank of gas. I believe that. Yeah. And I have been tracking it because I wanted to, like, you know, I trust that it's working, but I wanted to see proof. Mm-hmm. Now, also, I have a little computer on my car. My car is rated for 30, and I put this out there a couple times. I've gone up to 75 miles a gallon, 45, wow. whatever it is, um, you know, so right. it, it works. So there is a free version, but there's definitely a different a difference. Like yeah. I tried the free one. I'm like, well, that looks a little better. Well, I think I'll just pay for it. So I got two stickers and, um, and so I put one on each of our cars, yeah. but it's been amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Really Another exciting. thing that I would recommend is um, for your uh, circuit bo- breaker box. I don't think we have it here. It's uh, called the source generator and you'll find it on smartyscorner.com under the stickers 
category. And it's basically, it looks almost like that same sticker, about an inch big. But you'll put it inside your circuit breaker box and you will literally see your ener- your energy bill, your electric bill drop. Mm-hmm. Wow, All that's right. so cool. So that is, that is, of course, the paid version. Now, there are free versions. Mm-hmm. The paid ones are a little stronger. Just, yeah. just being honest. Yeah. Right. And, and the cool thing is, you know, I think I'm happy to pay for stuff because I'm really happy to support Smarty because he yeah. just comes up with more and more stuff. Yeah. So it really helps it's, when people buy yeah. things from him. But he's so generous to give totally. all this free stuff. And you know what? You don't have to believe anything we're telling you. You can just do your own thing with your phone and just see what happens. Right. It's it's pretty amazing. I think that's the way many of uh, our friends have started. Like they'll print out several of the free yep. hollows. Maybe they're print now when you print them out. Ideally, they're printed on photo paper and ideally you'll laminate them so you don't, you know, spill water on them and they'll run. Mm -hmm. You want to keep the uh, integrity of the photo, but you could, you put them under your desk, your chair, your table, Mm -hmm. in your refrigerator, all wherever your food is stored. There's also pest repellent hollows and you could purchase them or you can print them. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So there's hollows for everything. Oh, and fertilizer. Which, try, yeah, fertilizer one, one too. I yeah, have a small one. one. Yeah, this is the, okay, so this is it's the free, free version. One. Yeah. But I also bought another version. And this, so this is how little it is if you buy it. So it looks different. Yeah. But, um, but you just put them right in with your plants. And people have the most amazing, amazing stories to yeah. go with these. Yeah. So um, but if they're growing things right. like, like, you know, like tomatoes that right. were under snow and they came up perfectly yeah. and all kinds of stuff. And and I, I know that um, Smarty, I believe, is working on a new pet hollow. Oh, yes. Um, I guess it was taken off the website. I didn't know that. But my cat has its own hollow and I basically put it right between the food and the water bowl. And my cat is very healthy. But my story is the cat got bit by a rattlesnake last summer. Oh, it was pretty wow. nasty. Shortened version. If you don't get your pet to the vet within 20 minutes, there's literally nothing they can do. Mm -hmm. And if the pet doesn't last past the second day, well, it doesn't last. Well, um, I could not figure out what was wrong with her initially. Initially, around day four or five, I took her to the vet because it was pretty nasty. But um, there was really not much they could have done. But I, I really think that pet hollow helped because she's super healthy to start with. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's good really testimonial, cool. right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm excited for those. Yeah. Um, I, in fact, I have one of these and it's, it hangs on our dog's collar because yeah. <laughs> they didn't have yeah. one for pets at yeah. the time. So I'm excited for the yeah. pet version. Yeah. So I think he's going to be bringing out a uh, cat and dog collars and some other things mm-hmm. for pets because that's important to people. But like right now you can use the free ones. Oh, geez. There's free ones on the website. Yeah. And if you go to the bubble, bubble up app, like we'll put in the links, mm-hmm. um, there is a, someone's made a sheet for right. pets. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah There's a sheet really of maybe nice. 20 or 30 hollows on yeah. it. And he brings out new stuff too. So once you, if, you, if you're into this, which you must be, if you've come this far, with yes. us, <laughs> but, uh, you keep an eye out for yeah. new, new things. Yeah. And on Telegram, um, also smarty will put up his new holograms so if you if you right. follow him directly right. and there's a direct link so you'll get the right person there are fake smarties out there so watch yes, out for that are. don't give him any money because right. he won't ask for you for money right. so but, uh, <laughs> oh, but one quick thing i wanted to say okay so this has like thousands maybe millions of different frequencies mm-hmm. right but your body will only access and use what it needs right Right. So you don't have to worry about all the many, many holograms that are in there. It'll just work right. with your right. physical form the way it needs to be. So like I said earlier, the only ones it doesn't include are the sleep because you right. can't have it when you're driving or whatever. Right. So you can buy the sleep crystal or, you know, print off the free hollow for mm-hmm. that. The other one is fat loss or, you know, weight loss. And I'm sorry about that, but there are stickers, there are coasters, and there are fat loss hollows that you can use. This one. Yeah. And my daughter swears by this. She's been using that. I I had two fat loss coasters and my friend broke them both. (gasps) I I was so sad because... I used them all the time. Well, see, and this is just, this is just a, a sticker. It isn't even a coaster. So yeah. you can't break these. Yeah. Mine was like a, a coaster. Yeah. So, but this is, you know, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think those are our favorite products. There's lots more on the website. 
But just we wanted to give you an overview of yeah. how to use the commands, how to use the hollows, the frequencies. Right. Um, anything else you can think of? That the only thing I add? can think of is that if you go, so there's all these uh, links into Telegram. Mm -hmm. And there are a few different groups there that are all connected. And you'll, you'll go to the right place automatically. Um, but really, it's kind of like we've given you the basic stuff that I wondered about all the time right. in the beginning, like what's a Jedi and what does that mean? And, you know, <laughs> but, but one of the things I can say about the Jedi thing is that you don't have to like sign up or take a class or anything. Right. You can participate if you choose, if you are. And, and, and the other thing I would say is if you already have healing techniques, just add this stuff to yeah, it. Totally. It's so cool. Yeah. I, I don't, I didn't know what she was just teaching about the energy, but I do know about healing. And so I would just do my own thing and I'm like winging yeah. it. <laughs> it still worked. I did all the healing modalities and, you know, I don't practice because I just can't stand standing there for an hour. Right. Why not just put this on a picture and say done. <laughs> I love that. It's a lot easier. Yep. One thing I did want to say about smarty himself is he will give us a piece of information or a news item or whatever it is he wants us to go out and research for ourselves and prove it to ourselves that it works right he's not trying to brainwash us he's not trying to influence us he'll give us the facts and say go look it up right which you know yeah. for those that are motivated mm -hmm. i have been and I'm not, I'm not motivated at all. I am like totally experiential. <laughs> That's true. No, I'm no. an experiential person. I don't have to like look it up. I can just feel into yeah, it like yeah. that. And it's either yes or no. And I get it, you know? So, and, and I'm at that point too. Like I don't, <laughs> I don't need to read an article or do yeah. this or that. I already know if it's true or not for the most part. There's, you know, times, but I already know if someone's trying to persuade me or yeah. whatever. So yeah. Well, yeah. That's what so, I I like the fact that he wants us to research for ourselves. Right. And so um, I guess I would tell you very quickly, Smarty said he was going to do a, an interview with me. So I'm if if that takes place in the not too distant future, you can go and look it up online. Yeah. And and I what I'm hoping that he'll do is just introduce himself to everybody and tell his own story right. rather than me trying to tell you what I've heard. Right. You know. <laughs> so, well, but uh, but yeah, yeah, go ahead. He's amazing, and he is who he says he is. Mm -hmm. And I've confirmed it myself as well as my daughter, who's extremely psychic as well. Mm -hmm. And of course, I've known him for a few years, so I I, I guess I'm a lucky one. Right. Yeah. And my daughter said the same thing when we were yeah. doing. So what? what I was doing with her was I was just going, honey, just practice. You're so gifted. And she's yeah. like, oh, I just want to be a normal person. I'm like, forget it. It's too late. So, <laughs> so but I, I said, okay, it's just, so we were just tuning into different things. And, and I said, okay, just tune into Smarty. And she tunes in and her eyes kind of go like, and then she's like, wow, he is, he is so much more than people realize. Yeah. She, and she was just like, whoa, you know? So it is kind of like yeah. the same thing about yeah. the, you know, the seven inch. He, she was like, oh, he's just. So yeah. Huge. Yeah. So, and, and I, and I, what I love about him, I'm just going to throw this in. He is so, let me put it this way. If I was to pick the perfect person to be. <laughs> He's like camouflage. He's camouflage. <laughs> um, mm. it, let, let's say that, that he has, oh, I do have to throw this in. So I have a friend who's very psychic and we were, we were looking into all this and, and we're like going, okay, let's, let's just tune in here and, and see what this is all about. And so we got this incredible, like big, yes, 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 we get this. So, but the thing with Smarty that's so interesting is his background. Like we were talking about, okay, if we had the second coming of the Christ, first of all, we know it couldn't be a woman because no one would buy that. But what would be the perfect, like, thing that would break all of your barriers about what you think that would look like <laughs> <laughs> and so you know smarty was born in puerto rico yep. right in the ghetto and as a young man he was po shot point blank twice and the bullets never reached him he had he was like seven car accidents just walked away untouched he he a few days ago said oh yeah this is my six-year anniversary of getting out of prison i love that and i'm like going you're the perfect representative because anybody who follows this has to get over their bullshit. You have to get over what you think it's supposed to look like, have your own experience. And the people who can't get over it, 
they're not really meant to do this. And that's okay right. too. Right. But for those who really throw themselves in and have these experiences and realize how you can magnify your own healing yeah. work, yeah. Whoo, it's yeah. really fun. He flew in uh, under the radar and probably <laughs> he, he really didn't come into his memories and he's still coming into them, if you will, uh, into the past, maybe eight, nine, 10 years. He didn't know. And that was a perfect camouflage because if he had known and gone about as a little kid shooting his mouth off, yeah, he wouldn't be here now, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Are we done? I think we're done. Think Thank we you so it. much for watching. Thank you. Take okay. care. Bye. Bye.